Hi guys and welcome back to another Premium Press video tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you how to use the order system within the new Premium Press team, how to set up payment gateways and how to test your payment gateways to see that they're working correctly. So let's get started. In front of me I have the dashboard area of the Premium Press version 10 plus theme and as you can see on the right hand side we have an indication of how much we've taken in total and if we scroll down we have recent activity and on the bottom right hand side we have orders per month. So those are kind of statistics and gives you an overview of how your website is doing. To actually manage your orders we simply click on the orders tab on the left hand side. Now in version 10 we've redesigned the entire order system. Uh, we have a new sort of process system. So we have different order types, order status, and the actual process. So let me go through those with you. If we edit any of these existing orders, we can see that we have different display options. We have a user ID or an email, which is the associated um, user that's associated with the actual order. We have an order status. So now we can set this status for the existing order, pending, failed, canceled, refunded, on hold, etc. We have a process, so we can set this processing status. So we can have it in processing, in transit, if we're delivering the products or service, complete or recurring for recurring payments. We have an item name, which indicates the actual item name. We have obviously the basic order discounts, the shipping, tax, total, etc., and any additional notes. And we also have the invoice system, which can be then sent to the user. So let me show you the order overview tab. So here we can see, visually see the actual orders. So the type indicates the type of order. In this case, it's an advertising, offer, listing payment, etc. We have the status of the order. So we can see the status, process, etc. Now everything in version 10 is done using Ajax. So it's very quick and easy to access. So we can now update the status by the order process, the amount that was taken for the actual order, the latest um, order amount, and we can now filter everything using the filter system. So if we just wanted to view um, those in pending, say we just wanted to view orders that were paid, so we can now view paid orders, etc. So the order table and process to search and find orders is very quick. Now, obviously we can see from here the user. So this is a user icon. We can click on the, uh, the order number here to view the actual invoice. Uh, and again, we can visually see some of the options available, the type, status, etc. Now, let's say, for example, we want to test a new order. So we can go ahead and test the payment gateways that we're using. We do that in the admin under settings. We go to payment gateways. Now, by default, within all premium pristines, we have the PayPal gateway installed. And obviously, you can turn this on and off. You would simply complete all of the payment option details. So we'd enter our PayPal email address currency code, etc. to enable the gateway, and then when a payment is required for the user, they can then choose from PayPal. If you want to use any additional plugins, so you don't want to use PayPal and you want to use a different one, we have this Find More Plugins, and we have over 20 different payment gateways included within Premium Press Themes, and all our payment gateways are free. If there are any gateway that you would like to use with our themes that's not currently available, just contact us and we'll do as much as we can to try and create a new one for you. So if in this example, I wanted to install a default, uh, a new payment gateway, I would install the gateway and then under uh, plugins, you would see the gateway um, enabled or gateway installed. You would activate the plugin. And when I go back to my premium press settings on the payment gateways, you will now see the new payment gateway visible. So we can see pay stack. And again, to enable it, you just simply enable the gateway and complete the details provided. Now, to make a test payment, you can use this test payment option we've added. So this is a $1 test payment. And using this, we'll use it connects to the same payment system we used for the entire website. So this way you can be sure that the payment system works correctly. So we can use a live payment simply by clicking the live payment option. We can use a user credit system. So there's user credit on this account. So we could use that. Or we could use the admin test. And in this case, this is what we do. It's the quickest one. If you just click on pay now. We can see that the order has been processed for one dollar and i can return to my account and this is the user's account so you can see there's lots of new options available um, all the orders etc can be visibly seen if we go up to the admin area 
on the premium press go to orders we can now see obviously this one dollar payment with payment type test is now visible in the admin area so this allows us to visually see that this was a test payment done for the admin uh, the status is paid and it's processing and generally speaking we, we, we recommend that you process each order individually so although it will go into processing you would edit the order and once you confirm the payment etc you would then change that to complete or recurring if required now the recurring system within our payment uh, within our themes allows all gateways that accept recurring payments such as PayPal and, and Stripe those would automatically be set up for you and they would then set to recurring if a user accepts or pays for a recurring payment the, the invoice is then visible again at the bottom so as you can see this is the price the amount the total etc and those are added to the user's account so if I go to the website view my account you can see all of the invoices uh, etc are visible on user's account you can view their orders here and easy to see obviously because this is the admin I can see the test admin account also so once again just to recap in the overview gives you an overview of the actual website all of the orders are visible under the orders page and you can filter and customize and sort anywhere you like if you want to accept payments on your website you would use payment gateways so which is found under settings payment gateways we have over 20 different gateways uh, free and if we haven't got any that you would like to use simply contact us and we'll do our best to try and create one for you and once you've installed and set up your payment use the test payment options here to confirm the gateway is working correctly if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at any time. Thank you.